If you find yourself in a painting situation where you want to paint one wall, but not get the color on the wall next to it, then this is the video for you. Here's your checklist of products that you're going to need to complete this project. Paint will only adhere to a clean wall, so with a damp cloth and soapy water, wash the entire wall. Make sure you spend a little extra time on the areas where the painter tape is going to go. The paint won't stick to an area that has dust and residue on them. You'll need a good quality painter's tape. I like using Ace's Clean Release Painter's Tape. I also suggest getting a thicker size tape, like this one. This gives you a little more wiggle room when you're cutting in at the corner. When you tape the walls, start by tearing off one foot section at a time. These smaller pieces will give you more control to getting them in the corner crevices. Start by taping the bottom of the wall. This way, when you're making your way up, you can make sure you're staying in a straight line and plumb with the wall. A two inch synthetic angled brush is what will work best in this situation. Gently dab the brush into the paint, offload any of the paint on the side of the can. Use the technique called cutting in to apply to the paint. Follow up by rolling on the paint for the rest of the wall. Once the paint is tacky, you're gonna wanna remove the painter's tape. Here's a trick. Pull the tape towards the wall you just painted. This will avoid any splatter from getting on the painted wall versus the unpainted wall. If you have any extra paint from this project, let me show you how to use it to create a home office nearly anywhere in your home. That video is coming up next.